What's up, fine apples? Today we are playing with new makeup products I've been dying to try and some products I forgot to use in the last video. I was cleaning up my mess from filming last night and I just saw it. I was like, wow, I forgot to use two main products that I was dying to try. Obviously, my mind was somewhere else. My under eyes have been so dry lately because it's been really cold. So I'm trying out these Revolution Vitamin C Glow Eye Patches. And I will say I love the top of it. It has tweezers. Usually it's like a little spoon and a scoop. And I really like it. And then you just pull it. These are very, very wet. This is my first time trying them out. Also on my lips, I have Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask. I use this during the day. It's by 4th Ray Beauty and I love it. And it's much cheaper than the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I'm getting towards the bottom. They have other flavors, but Strawberry's pretty good. Get rid of these babies. Pat that essence in. And I can already feel my skin is just Yesterday I was supposed to use the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Bronzing Drops. These have been going like crazy. They were sold out and I was reading the back and I was like, damn, this bottle is really small, like small, small. This is a concentrated formula because I was reading it and basically you're supposed to combine it with like a moisturizer to get like a sun glow. I'm not that brown biscuit, you guys. I've been talking about it. I'm gonna be tanning real soon. I'm using my Glow Recipe a moisturizer, the watermelon one. And I don't like using anything too heavy underneath my makeup because then I feel like it just starts to pill or it doesn't last as long. Let's give it a go. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like drops. We're gonna work with it. So we're gonna combine this and just place this on the face. I'm gonna use a little bit more because if it's concentrated, you would think a little goes a long way. And I'm already thinking about the price tag. I'll probably get more benefit if I was more tan and I need it. I mean, I see the glow. It looks very healthy. L let me see from afar. Giving a really nice healthy glow, especially if I don't wanna wear foundation, I just feel like it looks fresh and alive. Definitely tell why people will like these just so they can match their foundations. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more concentrated too because for the price tag and how much came out, I thought it was gonna be like a really concentrated liquid. We'll have to see like how long it lasts. Also, look at this cute little headband. I've been hearing people talk about, oh, headband trends. I've been wearing headbands for forever. Like always bringing all my hair out of my face. Like, I don't know, it's like a trend to wear headbands. I'm like, really? Headbands have literally been around for how long? I'm gonna be trying out this professional again. This is the light one because it did not really go with my Kosa's foundation when I filmed yesterday. So I'm gonna try it again with this new product. And I think it's gonna work with well, I hope it does work with this new product. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I finally found it. I found this a minute ago though. I just have been waiting to try it out. I was salty about it because I, I kept looking online. It was gone. I'm just like, what is going on? Like, why is there not enough products for everybody to get it? And so it was just sold out. And then I didn't even bother to look at Target, it was later on in the day too, and I was like, oh gosh, why would I even bother? And I had my cart and I was gonna go like look at the tree hut scents for the scrubs, and I looked, and I was like, oh, and it was there, I was in shock. Of course, the day that you least expect it and you don't hunt for it. So I like this primer because it just fills in my pores really well. I didn't get multiple shades, one because I was just so happy it was in stock. So I'm one of those people where it's like, let other people have some too. I didn't wanna like grab all three and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna mix them all. No, like I was just happy just to get one. If I can open this. So I went ahead and picked up the shade medium. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a good match for me. So let's just try it right up here. I like the doe foot applicator, like the big, big size. The Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Infused with squalene and hyaluronic acid. This glow, I need the hyaluronic acid. This glow booster creates a skin enhancing soft focus effect for effortless radiance. It's the only filter you'll ever need. To customize your glow, wear alone, under or over makeup, mix with foundation or as a highlighter. Okay. This is giving me what I thought the Charlotte Tilbury was gonna give me. Because the medium shade is a little bit too bright where the champagne hues are coming out. And I'm like, hello, chandelier. But this is giving me like bronzy glow, like I went on vacation. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like you don't always need all the hype. You don't need the hype. I will be your test dummy for you, okay? <laughs> this is beautiful. Well worth the wait. 
And with spring right, I did the, with spring right around the corner, FYI, Glenn laughs so hard whenever I flip my hair because I'm one of those. I'm not a bee. You know, I just do it because I'm just like, ooh, like when I'm feeling sassy, like, if you don't like glow, this is not for you. We are off to a strong start. Like, I don't even care how this performs. Just seeing how how it looks, I'm sold. I do have some hyperpigmentation right here. And what I like about products like this is that since it's glowy, it's like, huh, it just looks like the rest of my skin. It kind of, you know, camouflages it and kind of blends in a little. I'm definitely bronzo. I don't think I needed those uh, bronzing drops. Drugstore is getting pricier. I believe this was, what, $15.99? And I got it at Target, so I didn't even get like Ulta points or anything like that, at least. Um, and then Ulta, you can always use like that $3.50 off, right? Off of 15. And I'm gonna go right into eyes. Did my face get a little bit darker? Or is this how it was before? Because I feel like I turned around, I grabbed an eye palette that I wanted to try out, and now I feel like I look more bronze. So I have the new Orgasm Rising eyeshadow palette. They sent this over to me, so let's try it out. I haven't used a NARS palette in a while, so I want to, you know, give it a shot. Looks very nice, warm, neutral, exactly what I love. I just did a colorful look, so let's go back to like a little clean and glam moment. I'll never get tired of basic palettes. I don't know. What about you? I will always love neutral palettes and I like trying out different brands. NARS always has like barely any kickback on their palettes. Ooh, it looks like the most beautiful transition shade. You know when you just have like that go-to? Oh yeah, this is gonna be it for me. This is looking nice. I like it. I like it. It's so funny because I feel like I hear Glenn and like other people say like you gonna learn today and it's from Matthew McConaughey. And I, I'll say it too, you go and learn today and I have no idea where that's from. Like, have you ever quoted something and you have no business quoting it because you don't even know where it comes from? You just like the way it sounds? Like, you go and learn today. That's me. Just smoke it out just a little bit on the ends and you are good to go. This pinky orgasm shade looks nice though. Um, it's like reflective. No, it's kind of like blending with the rest of it, it's okay. Are you guys over big palettes? Because I am, and I think this is so cute and tiny. I am starting to miss that sun because I feel like our winter has been forever now. This palette is very effortless. Like when you see the shimmers, you may think, oh, they're just like all the same, but you can see the reflection of it going from light to that bronzy shade. A little bit of a pop. Boop, boop, boop. Since we're on the NARS train, I grabbed another NARS product, and this is their High Pigment Long Wear Eyeliner. And this is in the shade, I have no damn clue. Oh, Mambo. I've been obsessed with brown liner. I don't know, it's just been my thing. I'll never get over black wing liner, but just there's just something about brown that I've just been on. All the products I am using today, you can always grab a drugstore version and just recreate this look. Concealer comes to play and you just clean it up. I have the mascara the telescopic lift. We're gonna try it out, okay? Uh, the last time I couldn't try it out because I got too much liquid liner in my lashes. Have you guys ever done that? And then it's just like weird and just off. So wait, I know there's a, a method to the madness. So you wanna use on the flat part first. Ooh, the flat part first. Ooh, wait, am, am I right? Yeah, the flat part first and then you're gonna use the teeth to comb it out. Why does that look so spidery right away? Teeth to go through. If I don't like this, I'm not gonna use it on the other eye. Oh no, that looks very spidery. These type of brushes, let me show you, don't work out for me. I like a lot of teeth, but this one, it's just not it. This one's from Buxom and I really like it. So these are the types of brushes I like with a lot of teeth all the way around. You see, like that. Buxom Waterproof Lash Mascara. This is one of your recommendations and thank you so much because I've been obsessed with it. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to buy another one. And I actually prefer this one over the Lights Camera Splashes because that was like the only high-end mascara I would always buy. So this isn't a new concealer, I just used this in the last video, but I am obsessed with this Huda Beauty concealer. Another one of them that I really like is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. That one is an amazing one too. 
And I do know Sephora is gonna have a sale in April. So here's a new product I forgot to use the last video and it's Patrick Ta's Major Sculpt. Now this one is in the shade She Sculpted Medium. Um, I ended up ordering this before and I had to return it and I exchanged it for this shade because I got the next shade up and it was too dark. This one is medium, so it comes with a cream and also a powder. And as you can see, the powder is much more warm. And then this one looks more on the cool tone so you can sculpt. So I'm gonna use this rounded brush. I've been using this for contour lately. It's the Concealer Blend Kabuki. Let's see what this one is gonna give because I don't know if it's like ultra pigmented or what. I am going for a super bronze look. Who do I think I am? I did not self tan or anything. I also love Patrick Ta blushes. I think they're so good. And right there, I need, <laughs> whoa, I really needed that because I think it's all the bronzing that I did. Before I set my under eye, no, I'm not going into another bronze product. I got the one size cheek clapper. Watch me break the powder. It's a 3D of blush trio and I got freaky peach. I'm excited to try this. So, so far from one size, I've tried also the their powder, which I really like. And I wanted to pick this up because I love Patrick Taw's and his comes with a cream and one blush, but this is a trio. I'm like, ooh. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. So Patrick's also comes with, uh, oh, they're both Patrick. Oh my gosh, that just hit me right now. Patrick Ta and Patrick Star. <laughs> that is so random. Okay, well, Patrick's Patrick Ta also comes with this little uh, cover for the cream blush, and these are the tones I love. I'm gonna start off with the cream shade right there. And if you guys hear Ewok, I think he's having like a little dream right now or hopefully not a nightmare, hold on. I love using dual fibers with cream blushes. So let's go right into that and start blending that into the cheek. All about cream because it just melts into the skin, just blends, it's effortless. I'm definitely gonna love this shade for spring and summer. I love peachy tone blushes. Huda Beauty's powder and I used this in my last video and I could see why the hype is real. But I'm gonna use the sponge portion this time because I don't know, I just thought that was so cute. And I think her large version comes with like a bigger puff, but I don't know if you're just supposed to go directly onto the skin or what. And I'm pretty sure you can take this off and wash it, right? Oh, did I just rip it? Okay, I might regret that. Yeah, I'm ripping it. Oh, you can't take this off and wash it. I don't think, okay. Well, let's not do that. Let's just tap some onto the hand. I'm just gonna use my duster brush from Sigma, or what is this called? The soft, soft blend. I thought it was a soft duster. There's like a highlight duster. Go in with the middle shade. Ooh, that's pigment. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, these look like a little bit on the lighter side, but did you see when I f put it on the cheek? It's, it looks are deceiving. So it's very pigmented. So let's, just blend this out. Oh my gosh, I put way too much. It looked like it would just maybe be a little bit more on the light side. And I'm really curious on this one. Let's see, does it have like a high, no, it's just like a lighter peach. So I'm gonna place that on top too. You know what this would look, oh, it's an illuminator. I couldn't tell by swatching it on my hand really quick. Okay, this is to give sheen. <gasps> I love that option. I love Patrick Ta blushes, but if he had that third little slot right here to add that illumination. <gasps> Ooh, I see what Patrick, this Patrick did. That was a good buy. That was a good buy because when I ordered it, I said, you have the Patrick Ta blushes. What are you doing for the win? I love my Patrick Ta. I do. I will never say that they're not worth it. But if you're someone where you like a glowy blush, this is gonna be it. So I'm still trying out the Makeup Forever Powder 2N22 and it's their HD Skin Matte Velvet. I will say I love the packaging. Okay, I can still see the glow peeking through, so I definitely like that. Because what sucks is sometimes when you have like, say for instance, the e.l.f., and then if you put on foundation and all that and powder, then sometimes you defeat the purpose of the illumination. So you could just skip that step. I could see it pulling through because I don't have foundation on. I'm glad I'm looking a little bit more balanced because before I just felt like it was just so much bronze going on. Patrick Ta's bronzer. And I'm gonna go into the powder and see what this is gonna give. Let me do a little swatch because 
I'm curious. Okay, so it's a little bit more on the warm side, which I like. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of like set around. Whoops, looks nice. It's like blending very easily. It's not like a super ultra pigmented bronzer. It just is blending with it all, which I like because it's kind of giving like that melty effect. Again, very user friendly. That's what I want. So this bronzer and all this is just blending so easy where I'm just like, yes, that's what we want. Makeup Forever, what are these called? The Artist Shine On. Now I absolutely love an orange lip during spring and summer, like a red orange like this. <gasps> Like my obsession has always been Mac. We're bringing it back to Mac. Mac Lady Danger. Best red orange shade ever. Okay, this is gliding on really nice. The only thing I, I will say is the packaging is very long, but it kind of is like a, a twofer. <laughs> but um, for the lipstick, you know what I mean? Like this cap, it's, it's long. It's a long one. But like I said, use as you want. Ooh, and it's so moisturizing. All right, guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so glad I finally got to try this because this is a total dupe and much better than the Charlotte Tilbury price-wise and also shade-wise. I don't know, I'm just so happy I finally got to try it out because this is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, no complaints there. And like I said, probably the only product I will definitely pass on is the telescopic. But mascaras, you know, we all have different lashes and our lashes are more personal. So that's just my opinion for mine. So yeah, overall, we got some good finds. And uh, like I said, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me and watching. Like, don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Mwah. Whoop.